for those who want to plug in, crank it up, and get down to business. Thrash is the loudspeaker for you. With flexible inputs, lightweight and durable construction, and a wall-shaking 1300 watts of power, Thrash has what it takes to keep up with every gig, rehearsal, rowdy spelling bee. Mackie has always had a way with their manuals of having a little bit of sarcasm built into it. The Mackie Thrash 215. I've had uh, the pleasure of being sent one of these for demo, a pair of these. I'm used to carrying around 15s. They're very chunky, very heavy, um, sound beautiful. So I thought when, I, when this first arrived, that is what worried me. Is that going to be enough to give me the bottom end that I enjoy? I took it to a medium to large venue and they sounded pretty good. What you get on the back is pretty simple. Channel 1, Channel 2 and a mix out um, all with their own volume. Uh, these both I believe are the Onyx uh, input combo jacks, so XLR as well as jacks. That is not a 12 inch. That's a 15 inch speaker. Over here, uh, you'll see me doing this all the time. There is a little stand clamp that you can tighten up. Don't overdo it. Uh, it feels a bit plasticky. 1300 watts ultra e efficient class D amplifier, built like a tank trademark to conquer every gig while lightweight for easy loading. This is true. I really enjoyed carrying these in and out of uh, the gig as well as packing them away at night and stuff. They are light. And they, they're easy to carry. Whereas I often felt with some of my other speakers, I get home and I'm moaning that my lower back is sore. High performance drivers, I had no distortion. Straightforward input and output. What's on the, what it says on the tin is what it does. Pole mount uh, or use it as a floor monitor. Probably make a great floor monitor as well. Equipped with four handles. That was something that was quite cool. I mean, most of them do at least two or three. If you have a look here, two big ones there and then hard ones for it up on your pole. But I found carrying it in and out of the venue like that um, made my life a lot easier. I've taken it to a gig now and I really did enjoy it and I wanted to give a little bit of feedback on that. I would rate these as very good entry-level speakers. What I mean by that is is you can plug them in, turn up your volume and go or you can do what I do, which is use a mixer first and then uh, using the graphic EQ on my rig, I can dial out a little bit of the honk mids, give it just a hint of bottom end and just sculpt the sound a little bit more to what I like. Just one session in the garage, cranking it up and then I took it to the gig. The, the gig started filling up with people and they sounded great. You know, like in a garage is obviously where things sound the worst because you don't get the proper bottom end response and all that. Very hard to plug this in and show you what it sounds like. So what I thought I might do is um, I'm going to set up my zoom microphone over here, which will be a stereo mic. So maybe you can put some headphones in and take a listen. And then we will see how she sounds. So give me five minutes. I'll be back. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Check, one, two. Yeah. Check one two. One one two. Check one two. Check one two. One 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 two. Got a lot of warmth to that. Um, check one two. And I'm standing right in front of this, and the master is on. It is set to mic, and it is also set to about three o'clock. One two. One, one, one. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's crank it up just a little bit more, almost to max. One, two. Check, one, two. One, one, two. One, two. Yep, yep, yep.
sure. So here in the room, the music to me feels really warm, really bottom endy. There's enough clarity. I mean, on the side here, I seem to be getting a lot more bottom end, but then when I come out front and take a listen, um, I'm getting the clarity I want. Everything I said about the EQ, I mean, that was just me for my setup uh, when I go play live. But if I had to just plug into the as it was there and just get my levels right, it would be fine. Mic sounded good, track sounded good. The only thing I find with these uh, is you have to push the volume up a little bit more than maybe what you're used to because of that whole channel gain thing. It's not a bad thing because they are sort of marketing it as your sort of first entry to professional level speaker. So for guys wanting to get into it for the first time who might not know the difference between line level and mic level, it's probably a good thing. These sound really good. They're gonna have a hard time getting me to send them back. So what is my final verdict on this uh, Mackie Thrash 15 inch speaker? I would say if five is the best and one is absolute rubbish, I would probably put this somewhere around 3.5 to 4, mainly because it does what it says on the tin. Uh, with very minimal EQ, you can get good results out of it. The tone is balanced um, after EQ. Uh, straight out the box, there's a little bit of mid on you need to sort of just clean up. A little bit of housekeeping, but nothing in uh, an hour or two in the garage and you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, 3.7 out of 5, I would say. Uh, it's not super cheap, it's not super expensive, but if entry level to medium level is the kind of speaker we're looking at, this should be sort of like where all speakers look at to do this at least, if that makes any sense. So uh, it's a good speaker. I would have no issue rocking up to a gig and there was a pair of these set up for me to plug into. The new Thump have um, I think it's Bluetooth control where you can actually go in and EQ the channels and stuff like that. That would bump it up to 4.5 or whatever, but this one doesn't have those features. It's just plug in, turn it up, do your gig. This video is not in any way sponsored, but they did send the speakers over for me to demo. Um, so stay tuned for some more gear. I've got a room there full of other gear that will be coming through to help you guys further yourselves in getting out there and performing live. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there. More gear to follow. If you've been here for a while, you would have seen I've done a plethora of um, guitar pedal related videos. So if you found this via looking up PA speakers, go have a look there. Maybe there's some interesting things there for you as well. The goal of this channel is just to help you get the biggest, best sound that you can. Is the price right? Does it do the job? And if you tweak it a bit, will it give you the same results as like more expensive stuff? And I think this will. The only thing I haven't been able to test is how long they last. I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.